Hey everyone, Olaf here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a domino effect animation very quick in Blender. And this is a beginner series tutorial, so let's get started. Now you want to start off by switching to Cycles, if you want to render this afterwards. So we're going to switch from Blender Render to Cycles Render. And then we're going to start making the brick. So I'm going to scale this one on the Y axis, so SY, to scale it on the Y axis. And then click S Set to scale it on the set axis. Then we're gonna go under it and left click to add a 3D cursor. And then we're gonna add a plane, click S to scale it up. And I'm gonna scale it more on the Y axis, so S, Y. And then I'm gonna select the brick, click Shift D to duplicate, and then click G, then Y to grab it on the Y axis. And do it again many times, so Shift D, then G, Y to grab, grab it on the Y axis. And now we have five bricks. So we're going to start adding the simulation. So select the first brick and open the settings. And now we're going to go up to um, the physics and click rigid body. And then just use the active rigid body on all of these four bricks. So just keep adding rigid body. Get the last two and the last one. And now we're going to add a passive rigid body to the um, uh, plane so that they fall on these. And then we're going to add a cube. And this cube is going to push the other bricks so that they make a domino effect. So click G to grab it, upwards, and now we're gonna animate this cube so that it pushes the bricks to make a domino effect. So I get rigid body and passive, and then click animated. Okay, so now I'm gonna click N to make the coordinate show up. We're gonna go to the top, and then click I on the coordinates. And then we're going to move forward a few frames. So move to about frame 60. And then click G, then Y to grab it on the Y axis. And then click I on location. So if we go to the last frame and then click play, you're going to see that it animates and pushes the bricks to make a domino effect. And that's all for this tutorial. If you want to see more tutorials in this format, just go to my channel and I post two tutorials in this format every single week. So, thanks for watching.